Prior to starting his engine, the pilot pulls back on a D-shaped handle inside the cockpit. This raises the cam follower off the cam disc using a Bowden cable and bell crank assembly. Once in the air, the pilot lowers the cam follower assembly back down onto the rotating cam disc. This causes the horizontal push rod to move back and forth within the machine gun's breech. When the trigger level on the control yoke is pressed, the cable pulls down the coupling piece. This completes the synchronizer assembly and makes it possible for each propeller revolution to set off a firing sequence, tripping the trigger and firing a round of ammunition. In essence, the synchronizer is an engine-driven triggering device. Rather than firing the machine gun directly, the pilot controls the synchronizer, which in turn controls the gun's rear pilot. To stop firing, the pilot releases the trigger lever on the control yoke, disengaging the coupler in the synchronizer. As he flies out of the combat zone, the pilot pulls back on the D-shaped handle. This lifts the cam follower off the cam disc, helping to prevent unnecessary wear and tear on the delicate synchronizer mechanism when the gun is not in use.